G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And it's a big numbers episode this week. It is. Lots of big numbers all over the desk. Lots of big numbers. And what could we start with this week but anything other than a Penfolds bin? Mm. Because, let's face it, right now the market is filled with people going, which bins will I buy? How much discounting will there be in the marketplace? How cheap can I get them and what can I get? Let's look at something a little bit different. This year, a new bin, mm. the Bin 150. Now, traditionally the bins have been multi-regional blends from Penfolds. This is actually a little bit of a sub-regional blend, not just a regional sort, but a sub-regional. Marananga Shiraz. Marananga, a little spot on the Barossa Valley floor, builds big, bold wines. Valley floor wines, big, massive things. This one, Tiger's blood. This one is a winning wine without a doubt, but it's bold. It's big. It's not super duper massive, but it's probably super massive. It is a big wine. Not cheap as an RRP, but you're going to see it really cut the guts out of in the big supermarket chains. Another option would be to go to your little independent retailers, pick up a six pack of bins, and get the Claret Magnum that you have to actually get via mail-in, that's another story altogether, look up for the details of that online, but the Bin 150, a newbie on the block and well worth your time and effort if you're not in AA. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is one of these things that this week of the year is Penfolds week, so you'll see the promotions everywhere. Um, 150 is an interesting number, it's a big number, and Tarbilk last year celebrated their 150th anniversary. So we're talking about a winery here with amazing tradition. And one of the wines that they've been doing for a very, very, very long time is their Marsan. And one of the great things about this wine is that they've managed to keep the price very, very, very low. We actually bought this bottle off the shelves for $12. Now, that's great. Now, we talk about Rieslings being great value. We, we bang on about it all the time. But this is one of those ones that a lot of people would probably walk past it in the bottle shop because Marsan, not really knowing what that is, for a lot of people, that's one of those varieties that they haven't tried. But look, reach out and grab this one because Tarbiok, every year, the, their oldest Marsan vines go back to about the 1920s. Um, and this one, their entry level one, is just fantastic. It's crisp, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's everything you want in a, in a nice fresh white wine. Um, and it's just a great value wine. So Tarbilk doing some great work across their range, but Marsan is one of their staples that you've got to get into. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people avoid trying new wines when they go out to restaurants for fear of pronouncing it wrong to the sommelier. Tarbilk Marsan. Don't worry about that ripper dipper. Last wine we're going to have a look at, another big number wine. This 2007 Shiraz from uh, Oliver's Taranga. The reason it's a big number, because this year they're celebrating their 170th year of growing grapes. That is a long time. The third oldest family business in Australia. That's mm. insane. And you don't go that long growing grapes and supplying them to other people and then building them yourselves without knowing what you're doing. The family has known that for a many, many generations and Karina now, the winemaker at Oliver's Taranga, doing a brilliant job with her own stuff. We looked at the HJ Shiraz last year. This, just the entry level number, still awesome value for money and a great wine and a lovely story behind it. Certainly when you're tearing the top off it, pulling the cork out of this one, you know that uh, you know as you pour the drop into the glass, there's going to be something to tell you, and the wine tells you a lot. The story to tell those people at the dinner party at the same time. A great combination. So rip into that this weekend if you're taking something to a friend's. Mm. Yes. Well, after that many generations, you think they know what they're doing. They certainly <laughs> bloody do. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. Hit the website this week because the winner of the best dozen will be announced. That's right. It's a and, great dozen, so... Yeah, and there's lots of you in the running. If you don't win it, make sure you hit Boccaccio Sellers to pick up the six-pack. Mm, lots of good wines in there, too. Indeed. And we'll see you next week. See you next week.